Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. As you can see we are on lesson 4 of the unit and we're going to be multiplying fractions today. This may be familiar to you, um, but it is good practice to refresh ourselves and work with some larger numbers. Let's go. First things first. Uh, we have our first question, 5 over 4 multiplied by 17 over 6. And here's what we're going to do. We, when we multiply fractions, we simply multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators and we're going to make sure that we reduce at the end. So, uh, four times six, the easy one is 24. Okay, I always do the easiest ones first and then I'm going to do five times 17. Well, I'm just gonna make sure with my mistake I had from last time, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Five times seven is 35 and then five times one is five plus three is eight. 83? No, I made a mistake. This is a five, right? Five times seven is 35, so I should have written a five here, not a three. So this is 85. So that's 85 over 24, and I'm like 96% sure we cannot reduce that fraction anymore. Uh, so that is what we are going to call our answer. So we multiplied the top and multiplied the bottom. That's it. Let's do the next one. We have 2 over 7 multiplied by 8 over 14. The top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. The easy one first, 2 times 8 is 16. And then 14 times 7, well, let's just go ahead and do this. 7 times 4 is 28. We have an eight down here, and we move the two up here, 28. So seven times one is seven, plus two is nine, and that's 98. I know I can reduce this because these are both even. So let's divide this by two and this by two to get, well, eight. 16 divided by two is eight. And 40, or sorry, 98 divided by two. So I know that 100 divided by two is 50. So I take 98 divided by two, I'm gonna get 49. And I know that nothing goes into both 8 and 49. So there is our answer. Next one, we have 17 over 5 times 5 thirds. Again, we're going to multiply the top and we're going to multiply the bottom. Uh, did we just do? We just did 5 times 17. So 17 times 5 is the same. Wow. Okay. Um, let me try to remember, 85 I do believe was our answer. 85 was our answer over five times three is 15. These both end in five, so our divisibility rules, I know that I can divide both of these by five. The easy one first, uh, 15 divided by five is three. 85 divided by five, uh, so 50 divided by five is 10. So we're gonna add 35 more, so that's 17 we have and we cannot reduce that any further 17 is a prime number we cannot reduce any fraction with 17 in it any further let's do a couple more yeah we got time let's do a couple more we have 8 over 7 times 19 over 7 uh, we've practiced squaring 7 multiple times so we know that that is 49 but what is 8 times 19? That's a little trickier. Let's do our multiplication method. 8 times 9 is 72. So there, and I'm going to keep my 7 to add. 2 times 1 is 2. So I'm going to go ahead and then add these. What do I, wait, wait, wait. 8 times 1 is 8, yes. And then 8 plus 7 is 15. That's 152. Sorry for the confusion. 8 times 1 is 8. So we have eight there, seven plus eight is 15. So that's 152 out of 49. And that is, yes, that is as low as that can go, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you may prove me wrong. If you prove me wrong, I'll be proud of you. All right, let's go on to the next one. 17 times, 17 over two times 17 over five. Uh, 17 times 17, was it 289, I believe? 
when we square 17 and then 2 uh, times 5 is 10 that is as low as that will be able to go they're both even or they're not both even they both don't end in 5 or 0 and we have one more 2 over 11 multiplied by 11 12 um, 2 times 11 is 22 and then 11 times 12 so I know that 11 times 11 is 121 so if I add 11 once more get 132 and I know that I can then reduce that because they're both even so that would be 11 over what's well, half of 132 um, at least 66 and actually it looks like I can reduce that even further 11 over 66 I can divide both of these by 11 uh, this is actually shocking to me as I'm going through here because I hadn't done this question yet but 11 divided by 11 is 1 and 66 divided by 11 is 6 this is 1 sixth wow I'm actually impressed with myself um, so always trying to reduce and test out all your answers thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you soon.